King Charles headed to Northern Ireland on Tuesday, leading mourning in a fresh corner of the United Kingdom, ahead of the Queen's coffin being flown to London. At Hillsborough Castle, meeting with lawmakers and leaders from both sides of the political and faith divide, the new monarch vowed to take up his mother's example. My mother felt deeply, I know, the significance of the role she herself played in bringing together those whom history had separated. Now, with that shining example before me, and with God's help, I take up my new duties resolved to seek the welfare of all the inhabitants of Northern Ireland. A potent symbol of the Union, the Queen in her later years also became a major force for reconciliation with Irish nationalists, most notably with her state visit to Ireland in 2011, the first by a monarch in almost a century of independence. In Belfast, there was another sign, perhaps, of the strain of the past few days for the new king. The source of his frustration? Again, pen-related. Some hours earlier, Charles had left behind Edinburgh following an emotional procession and vigil on Tuesday. Overnight and into Wednesday, tens of thousands queued for hours in the Scottish capital to file past the Queen's coffin. By early evening, the oak casket containing the Queen, who died on Thursday at Balmoral Castle at the age of 96, was on its way to Buckingham Palace in London. While at Westminster Hall, where Elizabeth will lie in state for four days leading up to her funeral on September 19th, a long line of mourners was already forming. Members of the public will process past the coffin for 24 hours a day, but with a potential wait time, of up to 30 hours. Vanessa Nantakumaran was surprised to discover she is first in line. When I enter the eye, it's going to be, it will be very emotional. Uh, it's going to be such a moment, it will be somber. And it's just by chance um, I came to know this is the start of the point. So it's, uh, it is, it's a great feeling and I, I, I'm glad that I stayed put yesterday here. Yeah. Rehearsals have already been staged for Wednesday's main event when the Queen's coffin, sitting on top of a gun carriage, will be taken through the streets of London from Buckingham Palace to Westminster.